Hey there, Temple View 4th grade. This is Mrs. Boynton. I'm excited to make this video for you, and I miss you tons. Okay, so this week we're working on the chunking method. We have our problem right here. It's 236, which is our dividend, divided by 4, which is our divisor, equals what are we going to do? Okay, so we need to think about what we know about 4. Let's see. If we did four times a hundred. Let's just work with hundreds, tens, thousands. If we do four times a th thousand, it would be 4,000. We cannot subtract 4,000 out of this. What about a hundred? Four times 100 would be 400. We can't, we can't subtract that either. But we can, however, subtract 40. So we can subtract 40 and how did we get 40? We got 40 by four times 10, right? And we're gonna subtract that. We're taking that chunk out of that dividend. So six took away zero, six, three took away four. I can't do that. So I'm gonna do borrow from a neighbor. This is nine and then one. Are we at, at zero? No, we're not. We need to still do chunks until we get rid of this dividend. So again, we can't do a thousand or a hundred, so we're going to do another 40, because we know that that is four times 10. We subtract it, and that is six, five, one. And we just keep doing this until it is either less than four, or zero. So let's subtract this because we know that 40 is four times 10. And this would be 116. And then we subtract another 40 because we're not at zero or under four yet. So four times 10. Ah, Mrs. Boynton's pen went away. There we go, 10. <laughs> And then six times, or we take away zero is six. We cannot do this, so we gotta borrow. 11 take away four would be seven. Again, this is not four or zero, or under four or zero. So we're going to do another take away 40. And again, we know this is four times 10. Let's take that away, that's gonna be six. And then three. Okay, so now we're getting to where we can't take another 40 out because we only have 36 left. But what do we know about four that we could take out of 36? Let's see. We know that four times five is 20. We know that four, if four times five is 20, then four times six is 24. Four times seven is 28. Four, four times eight is 32. And four times nine is 36. So if we, we know that 36 equals four times nine. And then we finally have a zero that we've been looking for. If we have a zero that we were looking for, what our next step is, is we add all of these. So we add our, we cross out these fours because that was our divisor. And then we add up all of the other products. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 59. So our problem, 236 divided by four equals 59 because there's nothing left over.